Hey, Michael Mason here from SoundDesignMix.com, and I'm here with the very talented singer, songwriter, mm -hmm. and all-around good person, Sarah Masterson. Hey, guys. So today we're going to be checking out large capsule condenser microphones, the ones you'd use for vocals. And the thing that gets me about large caps is that there's such a wide discrepancy in price. You can get a really good large cap for 500 bucks or 1000 bucks, and you can go all the way up to fifteen or $20,000. And it's always uh, made me wonder, gee, is that $15,000 mic really worth it? Is, can I find a mic that's $1,000 or $1,500 that's darn near as good? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to test out six mics total, two groups of three. And in each group of three, we're going to have a mic that's kind of your low-cost leader, $1,000 or under. A middle-grade mic that's, you know, like $1,000 to $3,000. And then the sky's the limit mic, the one that you'd buy if you won the lottery. So here's our first group of three. This is the Aventone CV12. Cool looking mic. The deal on this mic is supposedly this is the only mic that Taylor Swift uses. And Lord knows she could use any mic she wants. So mm -hmm. it's got to be pretty good. Um, let's check it out and see what it sounds like and compare it to some more expensive mics. Our middle ground mic is one that probably most home studio people would really like to own. This mm -hmm. is the Neumann U87. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's probably a $2,800 mic. Um, it's a great mic. I've used these many, many times, but I will say this. It's a very neutral mic, kind of flat, compared to the, some of the mm -hmm. other mics we're going to listen to. And then our lottery mic in the first group. Love this mic. This is the AKG C12. It's a very bright mic, but in a nice way. It never gets spitty or harsh or anything. It's just a really cool sounding mic. Love this mic. If I won the lottery, for sure one of these would be <laughs> yeah. in my collection. Let's go to our next group of three, a little bit darker group here. This is the Aventone BV12. And by the way, this is not meant to be some kind of ad for Aventone. They just happen to make mm -hmm. a couple of good mics under $1,000. This is also a tube mic, and the first Aventone was a, a tube mic. Um, and I've listened to both of the, the Aventones, and they sound good just talking on them, but singing is a completely different thing. Uh, second one in this next group is this giant mic, the blue kiwi mic and this has been loaned to me by a friend who says he really likes the sound of this it's mm -hmm. about a two thousand dollar mic and um i say let's check it out be my first time for hearing this i hope i'm surprised and then finally the lottery mic in this group this is a neumann m49 or in this case it's actually a 249 very similar between the m49 and the 249 Great mic. You know, if you compare it, say, to a Neumann U47, they're a little bit brighter than a U47. Um, and I think it'll do really well on your voice. Cool. So I'd say let's go into the studio and check them out. Do you take a step or do you wait to fall the Holy Ghost? He might know. You and I will fall a thousand times. You and I will finally find the lines. There's a light when we collide. And we will find the time You and I will fall a thousand times You and I will finally find the lines There's a light when we collide And we will find the time
So we've listened to all six mics now, and um, Sarah, do you have any favorites? Yeah, you know, I thought it was really interesting to hear the difference between them all. I definitely think you get what you pay for, so if you can afford a $10,000 mic, absolutely go for it. But I was really pleasantly surprised with the red Aventone. I thought it was a mm -hmm. really nice sound. And also, the Kiwi was kind of really an interesting sound to me. I really enjoyed the, the sort of presence that it gave my voice. So I completely agree. Uh, you know, there was something about the two expensive mics, the C12 mm -hmm. and the M49, that the top end, it was bright, but it was never brittle, and it's just really smooth, and, you know, th that's why they have that reputation. Mm -hmm. On the other side of that, I thought the Aventone CV12, the red one, heck of a value for 400 mm -hmm. bucks. I think it holds its own, and Taylor Swift might be right. <laughs> and uh, I also liked the Kiwi as well. So um, there you have it, kind of one at the low end, one in the middle, and two at the very top mm. end. So if you like this and uh, you want to find out more, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can always catch Sarah Masterson and see where she's playing at sarahmasterson.com. So that's all for now. Mm.